here the story doesn't end. The story which is really disheartening is, few days later, 37 countries give a letter to UN saying what the Chinese government is doing is correct. They are not torturing the Muslims. They are not violating human rights. They are educating them. They are doing anti-terrorism. 37 countries. Out of these 37 countries, 15 countries were Muslim countries. More than 40% of the countries which supported China, saying that what you're doing is right against the Muslims, what you're touching them is correct, it is anti-terrorism, they were Muslims. Alhamdulillah, Malaysia wasn't one of them. I don't want to take the names of the country which gave a letter because I want to wake up the Muslims. By Allah's grace, I meet the heads of most of these countries. Whenever I meet head of state, my job as a da'i is to convey the message of Allah. Whether they follow or not, it's in their hand. I don't want to take the name because I don't want to embarrass him. But my request to the heads of states of this country that our beloved prophet said, if any Muslim is in problem, it is like if one part of the body is in problem, the, all the rest part, all the cells go to defend it. This is the ummah. If any Muslim, he may be in any other part of the world, he's a Muslim, he's your brother in faith, you have to support him. How can you support the enemies of Islam just for a small benefit? This is not permitted in the Sharia. Keeping quiet, accept it. We are weak, you are keeping quiet. You may be the lowest level of mu'min, but yet you are a mu'min. But supporting a kafir who is killing your Muslim brothers and you are supporting them, 